Right, one of the features that sets XBMC apart from its competitors is the add-ons system. So uh, basically, it's very much like the uh, Play Store that you'll find on um, Google, on uh, your tablets and smartphones, and also um, very similar to the uh, iPhone App Store as well. Um, it will basically allow you to access a, a whole load of content from the internet. I mean, if it's available on the internet, whether it's you know uh, audio, video, uh, pictures, what, whatever it is, um, somebody can usually make an add-on for it. So let's just uh, go into it and see how you go about installing an add-on. It's very, very simple. Uh, so go into System and Add-ons and you'll just get a quick uh, help message up because it's the very first time I've run this. Um, so OK past that and then click on Get Add-ons. Now these lists here are they're installed by default. Okay. Now these are called repositories, and a repository is a list full of apps, um, full of add-ons. Okay. So um, these ones come installed by default. It's the official XBMC Foundation add-ons. These, um, but there are plenty of other lists repositories. Um, that you can install. Uh, generally speaking, each unofficial developer has their own list. So, um, you know, install these um, at your own risk. You know, if you want to install them, install them. If you don't, don't. Um, they, they are not officially supported by the XBMC Foundation, um, but uh, what you will find is uh, content that XBMC Foundation possibly find um, not suitable for their uh, for their repository. So it may be that you find um, uh, illegal copies of movies or TV shows on some of the unofficial ones. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to click on all add-ons and that will list everything in every repository that we have installed. And then you just uh, choose the type of add-on that you want. So we could choose a music add-on, a program add-on, uh, screen savers. We've got all sorts going on there. Um, what I'm going to do is video add-ons because they're the most popular. And you can just scroll through. It gives you a little description of what it's all about. And what I'm going to do is install the YouTube one. So click on it. Click on install. And you'll find in the bottom right corner, it will tell you exactly what it's installing. And because this is a fresh install, um, it just has to install a few extra things. So the very first one you install um, usually takes a little longer, but it, does, it only takes a matter of seconds. As you can see here, that's done. And now if we try another one, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's just try that one, install. And it's straight away. Okay. Um, now if we go back, 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 back to our videos, click on add-ons, you can see we've got YouTube, we've got Vine. Um, we can go into YouTube and it'll immediately ask you some questions. Um, so I'm just going to quickly change my video quality to full HD and you know we can we can look at different bits and pieces. So we can search in here, I'm just going to pick something at random and we go with that there. And there you go, up it comes, your YouTube. So, um, very useful. Now, if you want the unofficial repositories installed, which um, the majority of users possibly will, I would imagine, um, go to File Manager, and we need to add a couple of sources. Basically, there's two different um, unofficial XBMC websites that, um, that deal with uh, unofficial add-ons. So we've got uh, zunitytalk.com and xbmchub.com. So uh, they both have uh, uh, their own master list, if you like, that you can add in the file manager here. So we're going to add source, click on where it says none, and we're going to start with the Zunity Talk one. So you just type in http, oops, http, um, colon, backslash, backslash, xfinity, dot zunity talk dot com oops sorry I missed out the dot I think my batteries are going in my keyboard dump and you just get, need to give it a name down here so I'm gonna call it dot xfinity you can call it whatever you want I only put the dot because that puts it to the top of the list but you know you don't that's optional you don't have to do that um, 
I just like it to be at the top of the list like that uh, and just make sure that you typed it incorrectly so if you click on it you should see all of the contents if you get some sort of error message it means you've typed something in slightly wrong so uh, double check that and then we'll add the XBMC hub one as well so that is HTTP colon backslash backslash fusion dot XBMC hub dot com oops yep these batteries are definitely going dot <laughs> com fusion dot XBMC hub dot com and we will just call that fusion okay and again we just click on it just to make sure we've typed it incorrect which we have and so now we just want to install the actual repositories so click on system go to add-ons and we just need to um, click on the two dots at the top which will take you back to the previous menu so just keep doing that until you get back to this main menu and we want to install from zip um, we try uh, we try Xfinity first, so we just do repositories, and um, we 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 start with Mikey. He's got lots of stuff that people love on there, and you can see bottom right corner it says it's been enabled. So we'll install another one as well. Uh, let's do one from Fusion, and we do most popular, and. Um, we do the one channel one and you can see that's been enabled as well so now if we go to get add-ons you'll notice we've got more repositories so we could click on all and it will show everything again as we did before or you can just go into the individual repositories and it will just show uh, what each of those repositories hold so for example we go in this one and then you've got video add-ons and one channel that's the only thing in there so click on it click on install and that will do its thing. It's quite a large one that, so that one takes a little longer than um, the most. So while it's doing that, I'm going to come out. Oops, I'm going to come back out on those two dots, and we'll look in Mikey. We'll add something from there. Let's. I tell you what. Let's do uh, a music one instead. So let's do Mikey's karaoke install, and we come out of there, and we do one of his video ones as well. Let's do uh, Disney, Disney Junior. We come out of there. Now, if we uh, come all the way back again, what we find is in music we should now have Mike's karaoke, which we do, and in video add-ons we've got, yep, Disney One Channel. It's all there. Okay, and just before I leave you with that, um, occasionally a repository that gets installed is a little bit outdated so I'm just going to give you an example if I can um, system add-ons let's go back again install from zip and I think I know where there's one that's slightly out of date repositories we try uh, my good friend Jason's and then hopefully if I'm correct um, we should find that it's completely empty so let's go to get add-ons and we'll do JSON and there you can see there's nothing in there okay let's go back in nothing there at all it doesn't happen very often but it can happen um, you know just sometimes people update their lists a little bit and move them or whatever and um, and it just requires a manual fix so bring up the menu the context menu um, if you're using a keyboard it's C or right mouse button um, and you need to click on force refresh okay so do that go back into it and you'll find that it's all there occasionally um, you may find that you need to do um, force refresh go in come back out go in wait for the working symbol to find um, to finish and then it eventually come up so just keep after you've done force refresh go in go out go in go out until it um, populates and um, and there you go you can see we've, we've got it all there now so we can um, we can install whichever one we want there you go so um, so that's add-ons um, which are absolutely excellent and for all your add-on information go to totalxbmc.tv 
and uh, you'll find all, all the video guides on all the different add-ons um, you'll, you'll find links to the official support threads and um, and basically everything you need so um, so yeah hopefully uh, see you guys over there soon